Hey everyone, my name's Richard. I'm one of the developers of Aerodrums and a drummer myself. I'd like to talk today about how Aerodrums compares to playing on a real drum kit. In particular, I'm just going to focus on the snare drum and take a look at hand technique. So when a drummer sees Aerodrums for the first time, two concerns usually spring to mind. Firstly, since the tips of their sticks are hitting the air instead of a physical surface, they're concerned that the lack of a tactile response means it's not going to feel the same as it does playing on a real kit. And related to this, they're concerned that the lack of rebound from hitting an actual surface means they're not going to be able to play as fast as they could on a real kit. In this video, I will address these concerns by showing how existing techniques can be adapted for aerodromes. The basic idea is to move the stick so that every stroke results in the butt of the stick colliding with the fleshy part at the bottom of your palm. You can do this by using the fingers to snap the stick back into the hand. This impact will give a similar sensation to what you would feel if you hit an actual drummer cymbal. Obviously for this to work the stick needs to be held loosely in the hand. If the stick is gripped too tightly it won't be possible for it to impact your palm. Also, I recommend that you have your palm pointing down as in a German grip so that the stick collides naturally with your hand. If you are executing your strokes cleanly you should hear the sound of the stick hitting your palm. This is surprisingly effective. Nearly all of the techniques I use when playing a real drum kit are directly applicable to aerodrums. For example, we can use our fingers to play continuous single strokes. Or we can use a push-pull technique. We can use a similar motion to pull out accents from a double stroke. And we can play molar strokes. And of course we can control bounces with very slight finger movements to execute doubles. Importantly, Aerodrums has no problem keeping up with me when I'm playing at my fastest. To give a further demonstration of this, I'll attempt to play a rudimental snare solo written by Connor Guilfoyle. You can find a link to his own performance and transcription of the solo in the description. Thanks a lot for watching, and don't forget to check aerodrums.com for new videos.